Good day everyone and welcome to our online class. For Drawing 103, I will be your lecturer, Ms. Laika Mabango. Reminders, for those who aren't enrolled yet in my Google Classroom, you are all required to join the class because outputs such as plates and quizzes will be distributed through Google Classroom. For the topics and objectives for midterm, taglay ko na matuto kayong kung paano may identify o malaman ang pagkakaiba ng axonometric projections, oblique projections, and perspective projections. Maging paano nyo ba ito iguguhit base sa pagkakaiba ng mga principles na ito. So what is projections? What are projections? Give me a big guess. Bigyan mo ako ng pinaka-inner answer mo. Hindi naisip ka na ba? Okay. Pag sinabing projection, it is the representation or presentation of an image on a surface. Examples of this are movie screen, TV projectors, and other technologies, which projects 2D illusions or images. Tama ka kung ang iniisip mo ay image. At kung hindi mo pa rin magets, example nito ay ang cellphone or laptop na pinanonooran mo ngayon for our online class. This is an example of 2D projection. Pero pagdating naman sa drawing, they are called graphical projections. Hmm, bakit kaya? Sapagkat gagamitan natin, gagamitan natin ito ng parallel projections and perspective projections. And under sa category na yon ay mapapag-aralan natin ito sa mga susunod na topics. So what are projections again? Remember what I've said earlier, right? Make a big guess. In graphical projections, there are categories. First is the parallel projection, and second is the perspective projection. Under parallel projection is the multi-view, and the axonometric. We all know na yung multi-view is napag-aralan na po ninyo sa inyong drawing 102, kaya hindi na po siya natin i-discuss ngayon. Parang basis nyo na rin lang siya. Pero in this subject, pag-aaralan natin si axonometric under ng photography. Si axonometric ay may three subcategories, which are the isometric, diametric and trimetric. Under pa rin ng parallel projection ay ang oblique projection which is the cabinet and the cavalier projection. At lastly, under ng graphical projections pa rin ay ang perspective projections wherein we will be using one point, two point and three point perspective projection. Based on wikipedia.org, parallel projection defines that it is a projection of an object in three-dimensional spaces onto a fixed plane known as the projection plane or image plane where there is known as line of sight or projection lines are parallel to each other. Example of this is the box represented here. This is an example of three-dimensional drawing whereas it is projected in a fixed plane. This is the fixed plane. If I am standing here, I know you can see my power uh, my mouse pointer. If I am standing here, okay? If I am standing here and looking toward that box, 
in my imaginative mind, I would be knowing that this is just a drawing. You might have created parallel lines passing through here and here. And those lines are what we call line of sight or projection lines. As we go forward, it says here that respective projection are used to produce images which look natural. When we view scenes in everyday life, far away items appear small relative to near items. A side effect of perspective projection is that parallel lines appear to converge on a vanishing point. Okay, the only difference of a, of a perspective drawing from a parallel drawing is that it appears more natural, just like how we view everything. The closer we get, the bigger the appearance it will be. The farther we are, the smaller it will be. An example of a perspective projection here is the house represented by this teacher. Okay, and here are the examples of perspective projection. First one he here is the first, uh, is the, sorry, first here is the one point perspective. As you can see, it has one vanishing point. The arrow here represents the vanishing point. I mean, I'm sorry, the circles. The circles are the vanishing point. So the best example for one point perspective is a railway. Na kung saan, kaya tinawag siyang vanishing point, dun siya lumiliit, dun siya natatapos. Pero sa paningin lang yun ng tao. And uh, here is a two point perspective. When we say two-point perspective, it has two vanishing points. Example, kung ito yung blue building sa bayan ng buwak, and you were standing dun sa kanto, sa tapat nung dating tindahan ni Sisi. Although, I think it is still tindahan ni Sisi, yung andoon. Ayan. You will see at the end, there are two ends here. Dahil mahaba yung kalsada. Habang papalayo ng papalayo, dahil mahaba yung kalsada, lumiliit siya. As well as here in the three-point perspective, meron siyang tatlong vanishing points. Basta always keep in mind that when we say vanishing points, Dito yung hangganan ng paningin or ng drawing natin. Although, dun lang naman talaga siya sa paningin. Not in talagang dun siya na lang natapos. Okay. So, for our first topic that we will be learning is the axonometric projection. Pag sinabing axonometric projection, it is a type of orthographic projection used for creating a pictorial drawing of an object where the line of sights are perpendicular to the plane of projection and the object is rotated one or more of its axis to reveal. Let me give you an example. Um, example is the object is my Lola Remedios box here. And then... The plane of projection would be this triangle, the top of this triangle. Pagka pinatong ko siya ng ganito, I know that you will see the two sides here and the 
top of this one. It says that axonometric projection reveals reveals multiple sides ng nakapatong ng nagbabase siya sa plane of projection. If the plane of projection is here, repeat ka, if the brain, plane of projection is here, ang makikita mo sa kanya ay yung dalawang sides niya dito and it's top. But if the plane of projection is here, here, ang makikita mo sa kanya is the bottom and the two sides. Okay? While axonometric projection is in place, it has three subcategories sub that we must put in mind and practice to experience what it's like to imagine a 3D object into a plane. Yan. So here are the subcategories of axonometric projection. Si isometric, diametric, and trimetric. When we say isometric projection, all angles between axonometric axes are equal. Okay? Equal po lahat. Pinakamadali para matandaan po ninyo, ang ginagamit po dito ay 30 by 30. While in diametric projections, two of the axis makes equal angles with the plane of projection. And the third axis makes either a smaller or greater angle. Okay. Balikan natin. Ayan. Ang, gamit, ang example niya dito is gumamit siya ng 15 degrees. Halimbawa, sa diametric, gagamit ka ng 45 by 45. 15 by 15. Yan. Bleeding ko. A diametric projection, two of the axes makes equal angle with the plane of projection and the third axis makes either smaller or greater. While in trimetric projection, no two axes makes equal angles with the plane of projection. Balikan natin ulit yung example kanina. Nakita nyo ba? Sa trimetric, there are no two angles make equal angles. Yung dito po natin, ang example kung nanilagay dito is a 15 degrees and a 45 degrees. O kaya 30 degrees by 45 degrees. Basta, it makes two axes no equal. Okay, uh, sorry. No two axes are, no two axes, axes make equal angles. Okay? Dahil lang gandun lang po ang topic natin para sa araw na ito. Ang ating activities will be posted, are posted, sorry, are posted in our Google Classroom. And you can now start to do your plate.